with the introduction done, lux it over to the lab, and start using Claude to be more productive. And in this first demo, we will learn how to use Claude to work with scripts. I'm now in the lab environment. Let me put up the browser over here where I simply went to Claude.ai and I logged in into a free account because everything that we will do in this course will be with a free account. So there is no payment needed for you to do everything that I'm doing in this course. Now, how can Claude help? Let me first go through my first scenario here, which is something that has happened to me quite a lot. As IT administrators, one of our big duties is to script things, whether it's maintenance, whether it's productivity tasks. And a lot of the times we start working at a company and some scripts have already been created for us, especially in some systems that maybe we do not know as much because as IT administrators, we manage so many systems. So in this case, I work at a company and then I have this report here that another admin has created before I joined the company, but I don't really understand it. So what I can do is I can ask Claude to explain the following PowerShell script for me. So now it will go in, analyze the script, and then it will explain to me what each property does. And at the end, I even have the summary. In summary, this script retrieves all the SharePoint Online sites in the current tenant, selects the site URL, current storage usage, storage quota, and calculates the percentage of the quota used. The output is then sorted in descending order based on the current storage usage. And it tells me how this can be helpful. And you can see for each property selected, it's telling me exactly what it does. So AI can be a great way for you to better understand scripts that you are running. Now let's take a look at another example because Claude can not only understand scripts, but it can also create them. So I could ask Claude, can you create a new PowerShell script for me that will add a new user to Enter ID? Here are the properties. First name Vlad, last name Katrinescu. I have the username in there, the country, and I'm also telling it what PowerShell module to use. I'm telling it, hey, use the PowerShell SDK module. So let's leave it run a little bit here. It will always take one or two seconds. You see at the end, I'm telling it, use the graph PowerShell SDK. If you wanted to use a certain module, a certain API, be specific because the more specific you are with generative AI solutions, the better result you will get, or you will get a result that matches your expectations. So here in this case, as you can see, it gave me a PowerShell script. It even added the import modules. It added the connect to the MG graph, all the properties that I gave it, and then it will create the new user. Awesome. And I even have the breakdown of the scripts so I can better understand it. But remember, creating scripts with generative AI is a bit like copying scripts off the internet. Make sure to always test them in dev or in QA before you run them in production. Never copy paste scripts off the internet. That's the first rule as IT professionals. Okay, now let's talk about something else to do with scripting. Because I'm going to switch subjects, here at the left, I will start a new chat because generative AI solutions, they have a memory. They understand the context of the current chat. So as we've been talking around PowerShell, I want to talk about something else now. And it's always better to start a new chat and tell it, hey, we are going to switch subjects. Forget that I asked you about SharePoint and Enter ID and PowerShell. We are going to now talk about something completely new. So I can also ask Claude questions about a certain script. So for example, I can ask it, I need to create a new virtual machine in AWS by script. What language can I use? And now it will tell me all the different languages that I can use to do that. And it will even give me some examples. In this case, it was a Python script that it gave me. Great, I can read all of that. You see, it explains to me 
each one of them, what it can do. And now let me ask it. Let's go to the bottom here. I want to ask it, give me a script to create a virtual machine in my default region. The image ID is, and I have an ID here, I have the instance type, the key name, and the security group. Notice I did not say in AWS. However, because of the context of the conversation, it knows that it's in AWS here. So I didn't need to specify it. And that's why it's important to start a new conversation when you switch subjects. Now it knows we are talking about AWS. So whatever I ask it now, if I don't specify, it will assume it has to do with AWS. And because in the previous one, it gave me a Python script using Bodo tree, you can see the script that it gave me here also uses the same language. Again, if I wanted CLI or I wanted something else, I should have specified it. Awesome. Okay, let's start a new chat and let's look at a final example for scripting. I can ask Claude, hey, I'm running into an error with the following script. Can you tell me what I did wrong? And now to look over the script and it will tell me what I did wrong. So it looks like you're trying to display disk information using the get WMI object commandlet in PowerShell. That's exactly what I'm doing. However, there seems to be a syntax issue with the way you're constructing the calculated properties. So now it's telling me, hey, you need to wrap the script blocks, the parts within curly braces with double quotation marks. So it explains to me everything, and it gives me the corrected version. Awesome. Okay, this is it for this quick demo on how we can use Claude to be more productive when working with scripts.